and it that that never happens. Oh my God. But anyway, so what's going on with you these days, Brianna? I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. I do. I I want to say something though. Um, mm-hmm. And it's important to me that I say it for those who do watch the show and mm-hmm. fans of the show. Right. And for those specifically who follow me on Instagram, I mm-hmm. want to apologize to those people because mm-hmm. there was a Instagram live video that I did mm-hmm. and it was four hours long. So it was really mm-hmm. four videos wow. and Instagram kicked me off every time. Yeah, but yeah that's, that's good. You're able to pull that off. Oh, yeah, man. Four no, hours. I'll be chilling. Like, look, yeah. Thursdays, I live stream at Brianna Latrice on Instagram, B R I A N A. L A T R I S E. We be chilling, and right. I answer questions for fans. If you ask me stupid questions repeatedly, I'm not gonna do that. But mm-hmm. you know, I, I I be trying to like live with you, like let you know what it is and keep it real funky. Right. But um, I in them four hours, about 14 minutes, right, uh-huh. was taken and out of context as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Some blogger was like, "Oh no, she's bashing Angela and producers and whatnot." That's not that's not actually accurate in uh-huh. reality. I was talking my usual, you know, crud. Let's uh-huh. call it. Okay. We're going to be we're going to be, you know, PC right now. Right. But right, it right. wasn't nothing. The the issue is there was so much more mm-hmm. that was said. Um, that led up to that and I just want people like for example I think in the clip it said something about me crying fake tears or whatever that's that's accurate the tears were produced Mm -hmm. during the show right but what people don't realize is reality TV doesn't happen in real time okay you know what I mean like things happen and then you have to reenact them so the whole reason I was telling people my tears were fake was because I was applauding my acting skills I'm pretty freaking good I saw someone else who I shall not name try to cry on camera and she couldn't squeeze out a drop of liquid to save her life really that's neither here nor there Mm -hmm. yeah is that is that is that that hard to do cry like on cue and now we're an actress now okay cause you know I I, I did my first movie quiet as kept Mm -hmm. and and (laughs) I I, can, I couldn't figure out how, how y'all do that, how y'all cry. You and, know what happens, you know, or at least with me specifically, right. in that particular moment, I went to, <coughs> excuse me, a mm-hmm. very, very real place. Right. I went back to a painful moment, and I just thought about the painful moment over and over and over. Mm-hmm. <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry. Jesus. I think I'm, allergies. I always... Um, I thought about the painful moment over and over again, and then it, it which like segued into more painful moments so it allowed for me to find that place that the, where the pain was still living mm-hmm. and then I just lived in it just does that make it. sense yeah you know what I mean because yeah. I, I feel like it's a choice like you can choose to be unhappy in life or mm-hmm. you can choose to be like no nah, I'm cool Right. Keep it pushing. Like, I don't really want to live there. Like, I acknowledge you. That's what meditation is, and a lot of people don't know. Meditation is not the ability to not think. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's that when the thoughts come, you acknowledge that they're there, and you push it. Right. Like, keep it going. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I think it's the same with... um, calling on those emotional places where you don't necessarily find yourself on a day-to-day basis right but being able to be like come i need you i need right. you now right let me get into character and then as soon as it's done be like excuse me do you have my drink mm-hmm. so you can get in it and get out <laughs> get of right it right back out of it because oh. nobody i don't want to live there right and nobody in my circle wants to live in those negative places we don't stay where we were when it was painful you know what i mean yeah Keep pushing yeah, because I know oh. some actors they sing on TV, they get stuck in the character to where it affects their personal life. Don't, yo, you know, I'm sure they're far better actors than me. Right. And I, you know what? I can't even front like to keep it all the way funky. To do this season of the show, I had to show who I used to be, mm-hmm. and I'm not gonna lie to you. Like this is my best friend. She'll tell you I mm-hmm. couldn't paint the entire time because in order to stay in that effed up place Mm -hmm. I had to not be in my zen space which means I can't do what makes me happy I have to just kind of like sit here and drink Mm -hmm. and look at you like I don't like it right right (laughs) I got you I don't like this (laughs) I'm uncomfortable (laughs) I'm a complete you know what I mean but uh, it's suit girl. I mean, girl. Look, yeah, girl. I'm, I'm talking like I'm sorry. I'm talking like I'm talking to her. But it's, as soon it's as good. filming was over, I looked at her and was like, "We out. We out. Let's mm-hmm. go." Right. And I'm talking season done up. Season done. We, you let's celebrate. There. We're gonna have a family. I haven't had what I hadn't had a family party in like forever. 
Really? Right? Yeah, uh-huh. since before we started filming because I needed, I don't want to give that weird energy to my friends, so I cut everybody off. I had uh-huh. to be in a negative space to do the negative thing that I had to okay. do uh-huh. in order to show you who I used to be because right. I really was that person. That person. I am not that person uh-huh. anymore. Right, right. You know what I mean? Really? I mean, I'm sure that person's still in there somewhere because I can call on her when I need her. Right, right. But so I like to not drag need her. that person out of you, yeah. you need her, right? Um, I mean, right. I'd like I, to I'm, say that yeah. if you think you dragged her out of me, I was willing to let you have her because you deserved it, and All that's right. what I'm gonna say. Like I'm sure your friend over there can pull her out of the out of you. Nah, she if, can't. If, if, if she, she needs to, out. right? She couldn't pull her out. Okay. What would happen is somebody would try to touch her, and mm-hmm. I would jump in front of her, and that's not even the same person. That's just I'm a protective person by nature. Right. You won't mess with my 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 tribe. Okay. That's what you won't do. Right. You can talk about me all day. The say the second you do something to her, right. I'm flipping a table. Mm-hmm. You gonna get hit with it. I'm gonna be Zena Warrior Princess. If you <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, I used to watch that. It's all good. Right, I did too. We had no choice on KTLA or whatever. Was it KTLA? Yeah, it's on KTLA, KTLA Channel 5. Yeah. yeah you didn't really have a choice. Yeah. You know, it's, that's it's what came good. on. Yeah, no doubt, man. We got Brianna Latrice. She's here. Hey. Growing up hip hop, the reality show um, that's shown on Wee TV. Check yep. your local Thursdays. listings. We got two episodes left, y'all. Tune in. Okay. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll be going live so you can ask me questions and whatnot. Don't be disrespectful because it's rude. Mm-hmm. At Brianna Latrice, B-R-I-A-N-A-L-A-T-R-I-S-E. Holla. That's, that's what's up. If you want to talk to her tonight, she's here in studio with us. 626-793-0900. 626-793-0900, y'all. Yeah, very yeah. Drag, I drop, drop back up. Yeah, man, it's it's, it's all gravy. Now, Brian, I want to touch on something, too, uh, that uh, a website was referring to. Um, let me look at the website. I want to make sure this, this ain't coming out of my mouth. This is coming from the website's mouth. Oh, Brokensilence.net. Okay. Oh yeah, they they about to get hit with a cease and desist real fast. Okay. But go ahead. Okay. Ask your question. Okay. Please, my my for question. Those who don't know. Yeah, my question in regards to this from this site, which I read, saying that you know you were on substance abuse mm-hmm. and you didn't want to share the the your your battle with substance abuse. First I of all, it, is share? is that true or false? I'm just I'm just going by what this says. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, I'm just making sure I heard you correctly. Yeah, that's, that's that you. Yeah, yeah that you did. Yeah, that dog. you didn't want to share. Cool. Lies. Okay, because I, I wanted to I wanted to kind of pull your Inaccurate. cocktail on that because Inaccurate. I was like, that's a story that you need to Inaccurate. share. Okay. Inaccurate. Okay. The only reason, let me be clear. Right. The only reason I'm on TV is to share my story because mm-hmm. I have yet to meet somebody who tells their truth. Right. On TV. Mm-hmm. The whole truth. Right. I don't have a problem telling my story, like mm-hmm. at all, in any form or fashion. Right. What I have a problem with, like I've always said, you don't have to like me if you know me, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. What I have a problem with is if you don't like me and you got inaccurate information mm-hmm. or okay. misinformation. Right, you get me? Right. If you don't like me, let it be off the strength of you not liking me. Mm-hmm. Let it not be off this narrative of somebody else telling a story or mm-hmm. retelling right. a story. Right. You know what I'm saying? For better ratings. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So that's why I always say, come follow me on Instagram. You don't have to like me. Mm-hmm. You don't. Right. And if you don't, you have all right to go away. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they were doing it for clicks, basically. I'm just saying. Okay. You don't have to like me. We're not all supposed to key key off into the sunset holding hands and mm-hmm. whatnot. Right. I'm so proud of myself. You heard it. It was coming. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got a potty mouth. Uh, yeah. mouth. I'm just saying, you know, uh-huh. we're not all Care Bears. We can't all be nice and mm-hmm. cuddly. Right. But um, I've never, ever in life had a problem telling my story. Mm-hmm. Ever. So? I'll tell it to everybody. If you're at the bus stop and you ask me a question, I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. And that's well. just what it is. So so are, are, are you... Are you Sober now, or what's what's the status in regards? To I mean, that? I'm as sober as I can be. Okay. I do what okay. I want to do. I'm an adult. Right. Okay. And okay. I dare you to judge me. Okay. Because you can't throw no stones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no matter who you are, let's be very clear about that. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah. But now, I mean, it's quite apparent that I, I I'm <laughs> real friendly with the gin. Right. right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. I, I thought I'd, I'd ask that because that's that was something that was on there and that yeah. that, that kind of. No, you know. I have a whole name with my friends. They call me Jenny. Oh, That's oh! You say that again, man. Jenny. Jenny. Spelled oh, G-I-N-N-Y. Jenny. Yeah. Jenny. Jenny. Okay. Yeah. When she comes out, they be like, "Oh crap, Jenny's here," and I be like, "Yup." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yup. Uh-huh. Which means you're gonna get completely unfiltered truth because you think <laughs> you think it's unfiltered now, but it's really not. Uh huh. It's all good. It's all good. Now nah, you- but as far as like hardcore drugs, nah, I be chilling. Okay. Minding okay. my business. You know what I mean? Right. That's cool. Well, that's good. That's wonderful. <laughs> it's all gravy around here, no doubt. Now, now, also too, 
Um, we got Carly B. She got a song out and she's doing her thing. What do you think about her doing a reality show and I got music out? Where, where, where do you stand on that? Um, I think that Cardi B is one of the smartest reality stars I have seen or that I personally, anyway, have paid attention to. Because I, I, to keep it real with you, I never watched reality TV up until mm -hmm. um, they called me about doing the show. Mm -hmm. And I watched the show and was like, the show is boring. Mm. So up until that moment, I wasn't really into reality TV. That's when I started watching other shows and right. I found Cardi B and was like, oh my God, y'all don't like her? I think she's amazing. Uh -huh. Like, what do you mean? Um, I like that she cracked jokes on herself. You know what I mean? I always say, I always say all the time, if you can't laugh at yourself, like you're not a real person. Go sit down somewhere. Right. You're not fun. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's amazing how she managed to take her platform and be like, oh, y'all thought I wasn't really about this life? Mm -hmm. And now she getting like stupid bands a show and she's booked in exactly. February as far as I heard. Really? You know what I mean? Wow. I ain't mad at her. She's got, yo, her mm -hmm. record is legit the hottest record out. It is. And I'm not mad at her. Mm -hmm. I respect, sis. Right, right. Respect. No doubt. Yeah, respect. We salute on this end too. Right. All day long. Right. Are, are you doing anything? Music wise, or do, do you dibble dabble in that a little bit, or what? what I mean, where where I do you did. stand? I do, and I did. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if I'll be putting anything out for anybody. I'm so selfish with my art. Mm -hmm. In real life, I do what I want to do when I want to do it, and I'll put it out when I feel like it, and I won't tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just gonna be out and be like, oh yeah, by the way, uh -huh. I've had a single out for 12 years. I'm uh -huh. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, I, like I said, I do because I don't like all that pressure of trying to keep up with the Joneses and whatnot. I'm an artist in the sense that, like, I really create. I'm mm -hmm. not just a musician or mm -hmm. vocalist or whatever the case, or a writer. I'm also a visual artist, photographer, which is still visual art. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I do a lot of creative things, so I'll do what I want when I want. Right mm -hmm. now, I'm currently working on a couple sculptures on canvases. And oh, I you're a painter. Okay. okay. I said creator. Oh, but creator. You know, you okay, creator. Yeah. Creator. Okay. You know. Okay. <laughs> creator. All right. So you're creating some stuff. Absolutely. I'm always, I live in creation. That's why I don't have time for like a lot of stuff. Okay. That's what's up, man. We got more Brianna Latrice. She's here tonight. Again, if you want to talk to her, 626 is the phone number you want to get in and talk to her right now. Also, Facebook Live. Facebook under the keyword DA Radio Show. Leave a comment on there and if I can get to it. I right, see if she want to answer this question. All right, don't be disrespectful on there. She don't already gave you her warning. It's all good. <laughs> we got DJ Charlie Indie Mix right now as well as Play the Sled. And uh, I don't know, Mary, I think you need to do Love and Lust tonight. How about that? Yeah, we'll let her do Love and Lust, our love and relationship topic. We're going to see where Brianna stands oh, on that fun. as well. Yeah, man, we're going to make it happen. Make it funny tonight, man. Make it fun as always. Inside of a DJ Charlie Indie Mix, the radio show. So come talk to her, man. She's right here, right now in living color. Now, Brianna, um, I did see uh, something online, too. I just kind of flashed by real quick. And I don't know if it's true, but I want you to clarify <laughs> this one up as well. It's probably true. It's probably true? It. It's probably I true? I get it. Okay. No, I'm just playing. What is it? Uh, that you are in the process of changing your name. Is that true? <laughs> That or that false? Okay, so one drunk night, and actually, it started out one sober night. I was actually going to change my name. Right. And then I realized I didn't have to. Mm hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Okay, what was that name that you were going to change to? I was trying to pronounce that, and it, it was, was killing Zara, me. Zara Fina Califia. Whoa, one more time with that one. <laughs> Zara, Zara Fina, Fina Califia. Zara Fina Khalifa. Okay, but you gotta let me break it down. Yeah, go ahead, please. So Zara and uh -huh. Fina, if you if you look them up in Hebrew, Zara means seed and Fina means he shall bring. So I translate it to the seed bringer, right? Okay. And then Khalifa is that bad Amazonian black girl in mythology who California's named after. And she fought the Spaniards with the Muslims and whatnot and everybody else against Christianity and all them other things that they tried to impart on her. She was like, I don't need to be married to have babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's okay. what she was about. You know what I mean? She's right. like, no, I'm free. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be free. And then, you know, that's her. Okay. Or at least that's the stories I've read of her. So that was my thing. Zara Feeney. Zara Fina. Zara Fina. Zara Fina. 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 Khalifa. Yeah. Oh, okay. MD, I learned something tonight. 
Yeah, we both did. <laughs> <laughs> we both did. Yeah, watch. Well, it's going to be some babies' right. names. There are Fina coming exactly. out. Exactly. It's going to be some babies coming All out. because of the radio. Exactly. Nine Bobby. months from now. Serafina with an S instead uh-huh. of a Z. Serafina is actually a common name amongst witches, actually, I think, right? Oh. Yeah, like if you watch all those old school witch movies, there's always some witch named Serafina mm-hmm. or something. That's not where I got it from. That's not the point. But I'm just saying, I found that out afterwards, and I was like, no, I'm cool because you already think I'm weird. Uh huh. Well, say, say that again, Mary. What happened? No, say that again. Oh, I said for a second she sounded like Kevin Hart. It was pretty funny, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all good. Zerafi- Zerafina. Yeah. Fina. Khalifia. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I like that right there. Yeah, but my name is Brianna Latrice. So yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We're gonna, we're gonna stay there. Yeah, we're gonna wow. stay there. Yeah, yeah. we definitely gonna stay yeah. there. We're gonna definitely stay I'm there. I'm gonna wait till I get my bag, and then I'm gonna dip out on y'all and become a whole new person, <laughs> <laughs> and no one will ever know. You fly. Yeah, we'll be exactly. like, we don't know where she went, and I'm gonna be living like in Guyana next to drug lords and whatnot, just mm-hmm. chilling in privacy. Right, right. It's all good. It's all good. So, so, so then we ask the question: What's what's next for Brianna Latrice? What's I mean, Brianna gonna do what she been doing for a long time she been on a mission for a minute mm-hmm. she just moves in silence so i'd rather not tell you what my plans are because that's how your plans get stolen mm-hmm. so i'm gonna just continue to do what i'm doing mm-hmm. i will say though that i'm developing a non-profit organization and that's what i should be publicizing more than my uh unsavory mouth and my uh <laughs> my sense of humor that is mm-hmm. not loved by all mm-hmm. um my nonprofit organization is called Tuesday's Heart. It's actually really, really dope. It's still in development and whatnot, but I'm all about enriching the future. I believe babies are the future. Mm-hmm. If you don't catch them now, then you lose them. Mm-hmm. And then you gotta hope that somebody like me comes along when they're in high school who's like, it's okay, you can cuss and share your hot fries with me. Come here, let me save your <laughs> life. You know what I mean? But there's like one in a million of me. Uh huh. You know, maybe one in like a billion. I mean, no gas, just saying, you know, we're all individuals. Mm-hmm. But um, I really want to teach children life skills. I'm talking cooking and home ex and all the things they took mm-hmm. when the budgets got cut and then got cut and then got cut and then got cut. And we still have sports, and I think that's important, too. Mm-hmm. But um, a lot of these girls, these young women, don't know how to cook, and it drives me insane. Like, oh, I how know. are Tell you supposed to feed the baby you just got knocked up with for the bag? Mm-hmm. And worse, worst case, and, and, and worse than that. Huh? No, but I'm saying like how, not not to mention how you're supposed to feed yourself, because a yeah, lot of women yourself, don't know yeah. that if you're not eating adequately, you can't even breastfeed. So how are you supposed to feed the baby when he's born? Mm-hmm. You gonna put him on Similac or what is this Infamil? Uh-huh. Immediately, that's crazy. Like. Just you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's, right. there's so many things like babies. I mean, babies don't know how to change babies' diapers. Yet. Right, they're all babies, right. so right. babies having babies, so they don't right. know. Right, right. Yeah. You know how to clean your house properly without excess chemicals and whatnot. A lot of people don't know that you can do a lot with some baking soda. Oh, I know. Yeah, tell me about. It. I used to use baking soda to, to uh, whiten my teeth. I'm trying to tell you. Look. Baking soda, remember that. it's actually really abrasive on your teeth, but it's great toothpaste. Like, seriously, yeah, if you want to make it one, you can add a little drop of essential oil that tastes like peppermint, and now you have a holistic toothpaste. But also, I saved a baby from getting the butt whooping of her life because she drew all over the walls in crayon while all the adults were taking naps. Mm-hmm. But uh, I heard her, her grandma yelling at her, and I was like, I got it. If you take baking soda and make a little paste on a like, towel... You can clean crayon off of the walls, off mm-hmm. of you know pores or surfaces like that. Right. What else? I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, it's out. Ooh, oh, wait, watch it, watch it, watch it. We almost made it. We almost there. It's water. <laughs> it softens water. So if you throw it in a bath, it'll soften the water for you. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why it's in most bath bombs and uh, what else? Little bath salts and things. There's always some baking soda in there. Mm-hmm. You can drink it and it'll help alkaline your body. Yeah. I'm trying to think. It's a deodorizer. That's for sure. Yeah. You throw that in the musty shoes and put them in the sun. And be yeah. So it's, it does a lot of things, honestly. Mm-hmm. Oh, it'll clean. The, it's a degreaser. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's another one. Mm-hmm. So, let's say you have a small child who peed on something like your couch. Throw a little baking soda on it. Or you have a stain, period, in general. And mm-hmm. a smell. Throw some baking soda on it. You spray a little white vinegar over it. Let it bubble up. Let it, you know, dry a little bit. Wipe it down. And then you shampoo or vacuum it up. Mm-hmm. All gone. Like brand new. Stain gone. Gets blood out of anywhere. 
Right. Not condoning violence. I'm just stating if, <laughs> you know, something accidental right. oh, happens. Okay. So we we'll look it out. So so all the killers know what to do. Yeah. Make sure it's cold water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Because hot water sets the stain. See, a lot of girls don't know that. Did you know that? Yeah. Hot water sets the stain. Meaning like it keeps it in yeah. place, like it doesn't yeah. remove it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so didn't know that. Right, see, yeah. a lot of young girls don't know that when it comes to washing their drawers out. A lot of young girls don't know you're supposed to wash your drawers. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I I'm sure you're supposed to. I'm going to go on a limb and say, yeah, you're supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. Or well, maybe yeah. I'm just old school and my grandma is old school. Yeah, right. well, that, I'm glad I had an old school mom. She you like, feel no, me? She's like, get your bat in the bu bathtub. And hand and wash mm -hmm. them because especially young girls, you have accidents and whatnot, you know? Yeah, we all been there. Girl. Oh, well, yeah, girl. No, girl, girl we all been there, okay? <laughs> no, well, actually, you men have yeah. issues, too. Don't ask Oh, no, they're all issues. dandelions and bumblebees because you guys are not. <laughs> oh, no, no, I know that, but yeah. we, we don't have that accident, thank God. Yeah, we have that kind of accident. Thank yeah, goodness. We, got a, we have accidents. <laughs> we have accidents, like yeah. Like the little commercial, the little boy said, Mom, we got a situation. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. The smell of your the smell of her. Menstrual, I think it's about the same level of severity. No, no, no. no. If you've nope. never been to Twin Towers when it's all girls because they're over flooded. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm good mm -mm. from going back to jail. <laughs> mm -mm. Thanks. We'll keep myself away from Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes. we'll stay out of there. Let's hope we all do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's not, not the place to be. I, I, I was just picking up somebody from there. I wasn't in there. I was just picking up somebody from there few weeks ago all right let's make it clear dundee was not in there picking himself up i was picking up somebody from there all right now I, I, I don't want no rumors i don't want no, i don't want no rumors being created around here so you know things get created oh dundee was in jail and all that stuff yeah man it's it's it's, it's crazy around these parts let's do love and lust real quick man, before we get up out of here maybe got about five minutes left let's do love and lust real quick Bye from the radio show love and lust time for love love lust lust in relationship question, question of, the, of day. the day what's today's question and today's question is brought to you by industry connects That's right. going down la convention center coming up september the 30th get your tickets now then now all you gotta do is go to our facebook page click on the link keyword da radio show or keyword dundee click on the link and you will get a chance to be at Industry, Industry Connects coming up September the 30th for $35. Pre-sale tickets are now on sale right there. Come and learn about the music industry. All right. So, Brianna, this is our love and relationship question right, mm -hmm. for the week right here. Okay. All right. So, someone wrote in or, or left a comment. Um, they, they're, they're trying to get... They, they, they have their ex. I'm just doing a short version of it because we ain't got time for it. Okay. But the short version is they have their ex. They broke up with the ex. The ex is trying to get back with them. He won't leave her alone. Give me some or give her some advice on how she can get the ex to okay. leave her alone. So, A, recognize that the box is good. You're an amazing woman and move on. Because there's somebody better waiting for you. No, he won't leave her alone. He keeps coming oh, back. Oh, you and coming need back. to know how to let him. Yeah, leave she him she, she got to get rid of him, and, and he keeps coming back. The box was that good. And the box I mean, is that good. I'm just saying, yeah, so block he, the calls. Like, what's the issue? He's knocking on the door. Get you I, a new one. Mm, I guess. I mean, she just said, I can't get rid of my right. ex. How do I get rid of him? Stop That's answering. It. That's mm -hmm. A. Right. Mm -hmm. Block him. B. Duh. Mm -hmm. C. Don't answer the door, and if you if he should come to the door, you better have the new one there nah, and let him answer. Nah, the let door. him answer the door, huh? Mm -hmm. No answer. drama though, ain't no fights. I hope that the new one is better than the old one, which means he's gonna answer like a man. Right. Be like, sir, can I help you? Mm-hmm. Right. And close the door. Mm-hmm. And lock it. And lock it. And y'all gonna get back to that Sade and red candles. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what Sweet I'm saying? Sweetest taboo. Up in here. Right, so yeah. you know, then there's that. Mm -hmm. It's all, right. all good, Mary. You want to weigh on that real quick before we go? What am I doing? What are we? Oh, um, you know what? 
No. <laughs> no. Okay. It's all good. Yeah. yeah. It's she all right. She was like, you got yeah. it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I got it. She all right. It's all good. She can't, she yeah. can't keep it radio edited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Her answer yeah. was good. Yeah. That, 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 that cleared it up for, for us all right there she in one spot. She's explicit. Yeah, Mary. Beep, 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 beep. And all that, so. And I'm sure you yeah, it's, Wait, it's all did good. I curse? No, you know what? Yay! I, 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 was about to get, I was about to say thank you for not cursing. Give her the applause. Give <laughs> you her guys the applause. don't even understand how difficult that is for oh, me. Oh, we know. Seriously, because oh, I know. talk to my mom reckless. Really? I'd be like, beep, 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 really? beep, 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 I can't do that with my mom. I'll, no. be, I'll get no, killed. No, she tried it. Look, she t- really? look, every now and then she'll call me and threaten me. She'll be like, I don't care about your machete. Mm-hmm. I'll come to your house anyway. And I dare you to kill me. She said, and if you do, I'm just going to haunt you every day for the rest of your life. I said, it's cool, Ma. You can live. Because I don't want that. I like you where you at, 90 miles away, when I can see you when I want to. What I don't want is you in my ear all the time, so I'm going to go ahead and let you have that. You got it. Oh, okay. My she bad. She's cute. I love her. All right. All right. That's what's up. Well, you know what? I want to thank you for coming down. We about to get up out of here. You want to give a quick shout out and let them give them on your social media handles and all that again and where and when to find you. Shout out to all the hater blogs. Mm-hmm. Keep yep. hating. Business. That's not even a real word, so you know, huh? Good at this. Anyway, follow me on Instagram if you want to at Brianna Latrice B R I B R I A N A L A T R I S E on Instagram. You know what I mean? Live stream every Thursday when we film the show. We TV growing up hip hop. Yes, two episodes left. Tune in and then you know. What time is coming? Ciao. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, tune. Check I'm your not local even listing. You know why? Right. Look, I was going through it in my yeah. mind. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not sure because it's like 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> or something. Right. All I know is if you turn if you turn that ish on, you will catch it. Mm-hmm. You'll probably catch an old one, and if you haven't seen it, cool, catch up and mm-hmm. keep watching, and then tune into my Instagram. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Turn them notifications on at the top right corner or whatever it is. You know. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what's up. Well, thank you for joining us, and yes. we'll get you on thank down you the road, okay? All right. And next time, we'll let your friend say something, too, because she got to sit the whole time to oh, say she anything. she got all the words, but she, there's no censoring her, so, yeah. so you know, somebody yeah. going to be, you're going to get fined. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, we'll see y'all next week. More Talk About Industry Connects and another guest will be in the building. Bye, y'all, off the radio Bye. show. Representing for the hood. By the hood. Representing for the hood. By the hood. Representing from the hood. By the hood. It's a <laughs> show.